All right, hello, YouTube. We're here, we're playing games again. All right, three badges. We had a couple losses yesterday, but it's all good. I just wanna make sure that we have... Okay, so file, load, no. File, load game. There it is. All right, we're all set. Everyone's here. We got the squad, so we're moving along. Now, unfortunately, we lost Dig Dug yesterday, but that's okay. He fought valiantly. He was a good, he was a good Pokemon. We lost Dig Dug, and we also lost um, Buzzy Bee, which like gives me the big sad. But you know what? Got to do what you got to do. We now do have the Furry Fish, our Gyarados. And he just Rex. Like, there is... I, I, I can't explain it, but, like, he just... He, that he is just that powerful. Like, they're almost the same level, and he's, like, crushing anything that's around him. It was well worth the wait for him. I'm, like, pretty sure he is mainly a physical attacker, so it's going to be unfortunate. And hopefully he does get Hurricane, because I know in, pre in other games he gets Hurricane, but we'll see how that goes. But from what I've heard, like, Gyarados is essentially a must-have within the games. Like, if you're not using a Gyarados within your run, you're not doing it right. From from what I've understood. He's just that good. It's bothering me. Sorry, something was just bothering me really quick. Good, good news is, as long as we keep him, we're all set. Because then we have a Pokemon that can learn Surf. That's really all we need, because I don't think Whirlpool's in this game. Whirlpool's in the next one, though. Or maybe that is only Heart Gold, Soul Silver. But I do know that Whirlpool is a terrible move, to say the least. I like how, like, these guys just, like, pay me to, kip to kick the crap out of them. That's probably one of my favorite things. I was also thinking today about how bad I really want to start a garden. So I just think a garden would be really fun. It's like a fun little pet project. I'm the best in my class. Doesn't mean shit. How many badges you got, bitch? Huh? Is it less than three? Because that means you're you're a little baby compared to me. 
I'm just a big boy, big strong boy. Yeah, today I am also going to need to take a little bit of an intermission because I got to talk to my friend for a little bit. That's what I mean. He just rinses. I. Uh... Like, I love him and I want to keep using him, but at the same time, I want to use other Pokemon. But then again, he does need a, um, he does need some levels. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use him. If he can learn a flying type move, you know what? Let's go through. Let's go through and let's check that out. Let's see. Pokemon... Red, Gyarados, Gyarados, learn set. As most of you can probably tell, I type really slow, Gen 1, so... You will learn Dragon, Dragon Rage at 25. Okay, so on this one, he does not learn... Um, hurricane, which is unfortunate to say the least. Um, pre evolution moves, splash, and tackle. He doesn't even learn flail in this one. It's wild how little I know about this game compared to like how much I've played other ones. <laughs> uh, yeah, without Hurricane, he's kind of like not great. So, you know, but he's not the worst. Um, and, well, I shouldn't even say he's not great, because he is really good. Yeah, I'm shocked that he doesn't learn Hurricane. Let's see. When do you start learning Hurricane? Frustration. Sorry, I'm just looking through this really quick, seeing what I can find. You start learning Twister, which is cool, I guess. Um, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just crazy and Hurricane is, like, not a thing. <laughs> maybe it was just, maybe it was that game that I was playing. Oh, he learns Ice Fang then? And later Gen 6. <laughs> Where? Am I dumb? Like, the answer is yes, clearly, but... Her okay, Hurricane is a Gen 7 move, and it's only a 70... It's only got 70 accuracy? That's ridiculous. I'm surprised this doesn't go up to Gen 8. Okay. Moving on. nobody gets in here i'm not going to be able to what's it called i'm not going to be able to have anyone name my pokemon for me i'm going to need to do it all by myself oh well there's a fat pokemon that comes down from the mountain <laughs> it's, it's strong if you can get it yeah i might get that one i i do also have a rule where static and gifted pokemon like uh like Magikarp and stuff do not count towards what you catch in that area. Hmm. Ah, your true weakness. Anything. Anything remotely uh, electrical. You know, in my mind for a second, I was like, why would I send out uh, Charmeleon, he doesn't know. Uh, if he gets hit by a, an electric type move, he's dead too. Not thinking that it's literally just... Um, he's not a flying type yet. <laughs> Don't know why I thought he was. But whatever. But yeah, like I was saying, I really want to start like a garden or something. Because I, I just feel like gardening's fun. 
Oh, thanks for critting now. Really needed that right then and there. See, if you were a steel type, this would be a great matchup, but there's no steel types in this game right now. And overall, steel are just some of the best Pokemon that there are. They're just bulky. Like, comparatively, they're just so much bulkier than anything else. But, like, if I was to start a garden, I wouldn't even know what to put in my garden. Like, I wouldn't- I, I wouldn't know the first thing. We're gonna just do this. Oh, look, we're back. I'm just super cautious, because I've been losing a lot of Pokemon. I think I've lost, like, six so far. <laughs> Which is, like, really sad. If you think about it, I've lost six fucking Pokemon. I should probably raise up Mew 3. As you can tell, I'm tired. I did not get much sleep last night. I went to sleep at like 4 a.m. and woke up at like 10. Which, I, I know that makes me sound really lazy, but that's like six hours of sleep for me. That's not enough. I do not function on six hours. I definitely need much more than that. Because, okay. yeah, I... I do sleep a lot. I tend to have that... Uh, tend to have that problem. I'm just making sure there's no more trainers. I want to make sure I fight everybody. Oh. Is it anyways? It's 2 30. So, yeah, in about half hour, I'm gonna need to take a break for like I don't really know how long, I don't really know what he needs to talk about. It's a magneton. All right, I won. That was pretty scary though. He really is my ace right now. Furry Fish is my ace. Even though. Uh, not a human, though, is fucking beefy. Not a human is really beefy right now. Maybe I'll look that up. I'll look up how to. Uh, where to get a leaf stone so that I can evolve him into whatever he needs. But I should, I should wait at least until he learns Petal Dance. Because pedal dance is a really good move. Ah. Alright. On to the next. I think we're pretty much done with this area. You can get them at Sell It On City, I'm pretty sure. Leaf Stones, I can get at Sell It On City. I had no idea that I could do that. I Well, I thought it was just a fire, electric, and water, because that's the evolutions. So that's just what I always thought. I... Oh, you know what? I'm going the wrong way. I know where I need to go. I came over here for no reason. And by the way, Isaac MST, thank you for uh, joining the chat. Really appreciate it. I was a little shocked that I didn't know anyone was here yet. Well, guess what? Since you're here, if you stick around a little while, you get to name the next Pokemon that we're going to catch, which we should run into very soon. I can figure out how to navigate. Thank you. Um, 
So yeah, right now we have just beaten the third gym. We just finished up that area over there. Uh, we lost a couple Pokemon. Uh, because this is my first, like, real Nuzlocke that I've ever done. And so... <laughs> You know, you go in here bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and then you uh, end up just losing at least half of what you've caught. And, like, this coming from, like, somebody who thought they knew what they were doing. No, I don't want any more healing. Yeah, so I came in here thinking that, like, I knew what I was doing, and I clearly did not. I, <laughs> I ran into so many issues. Shockingly, like, one of the best, one of the worst ways that I keep losing it. Yeah, it's so much harder than it looks. It really is. Um, you know who Pokemon challenges really makes it look super simple. But maybe it's because of like his editing. And that and he's been doing it for quite some time. I don't have my cut Pokemon anymore. Item. Who's gonna learn cut? Alright, not a human. Yes, yeah, switch move should be forgotten. Oh. That's tough. Should I get rid of poison powder or stun powder? Or stun spore? They're both really good. I'll get rid of poison powder, I guess. Yikes. You gotta make you gotta make a sacrifice. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of poison powder because I think acid at least has a chance to poison, because I'm pretty sure that's how that works, but we'll see. Alright, so we can catch a Pokemon right up here. Okay, I guess not. I'll figure it out. We'll get up there. But yeah, I did unfortunately have to make a sacrifice on that one, but it works out. I'm not going to be using that Pokemon for a little while because not a human is level 29. And right now I'm stuck at my level cap of level 29 because I have a rule set in place where I don't allow any other... I don't allow any of my Pokemon to go above the next gym leader's Pokemon. Nice. That's, that's always what you want to see. <laughs> you know what's always the best? Getting poisoned in the first battle. <laughs> the first Pokemon of a battle. So, I, I'm just curious. Like, um... Actually, no, I don't want to get too personal. Actually, is uh, that... I'm just curious, is your name Isaac for Binding of Isaac? I'm just curious because I've been playing Isaac, uh, Binding of Isaac a lot on my Switch. Furry fish. <laughs> no, no, my real name's okay. <laughs> I get, you know, I get a little confused from time to time. Really? Honestly, I didn't... S oh my god, it's Isaac from Binding of Isaac. <laughs> oh, Shiny Carp, you made it. Hello, thank you for joining. Um, yeah, well... <laughs> Honestly, I would have never even thought of it if I hadn't been playing Binding of Isaac so much recently. And like, I, one of my like staples is like I'm I'm shit at games, so I play uh I play Binding of Isaac, but like I can't do anything without like Brimstone or something like that. Um, yeah. But I'm sure since your name gets. How am I today? I'm doing actually pretty good. How are you? Um, I'm sure you probably like have like a slight disdain for uh, Binding of Isaac. I've never played. What's it about? Uh, it's it's a real fucked up game. 
Uh, it's actually, like, uh, it's shockingly, like, a lot of, like, uh, body horror and stuff, uh, where you're going through and, like, whoever came up with the game is, like, real sick, twisted person. <laughs> but, um, it's a lot about, uh, just a little boy who, like, goes into, like, his imagination to escape from, uh, the abuse that his mother gives him and, you know, it goes through all that and there's a lot of like hidden lore within the game but it's uh it's a roguelike um if you've ever seen enter the gungeon it's a lot like that if you've ever seen um so like it's a lot like enter the gungeon it's a lot like uh what's another good one that it's very similar to my day could be better than that just me well i appreciate that you're stopping by even though you're having a little bit of a crummy day I don't know, uh, but if you've ever seen a roguelike, it's a lot like that. Oh, Returnal. That's the newest one that just came out. That's, uh, like, very similar to it. So if you've seen any Returnal gameplay. And I have a friend from Arizona coming in an hour I haven't seen in a year. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm glad. Jesus, that sounds kind of interesting, though. It, it is a really, really fun game. I do love, I, I do love playing it, but it's just, I'm not very good at it, is my issue. This is probably going to be a long fight, because I can't hurt him, and he can't hurt me. But Shiny Carp, I'm glad that your uh, cousin is, or your friend is coming from Arizona. Should uh, perk up your day a little bit. I might speed this up. Just to make it a little bit easier. Right. Okay. Um. Alright, not a human. Your time to shine. Oh, bind is crushing me. That's why. There we go. Furry fish, yes. Um, we named we named furry fish because we had um we had fuzzy, and we uh yesterday a lot. <laughs> yesterday we were talking about it and it was just it was funny because we were talking about how like actually seeing a furry fish in real life would be horrifying. Oh, I'm stuck over here. Cool, that's exactly what I wanted. I don't remember this area like at all. Even in my even in like my previous playthroughs of uh Pokemon Fire Red and stuff like that, I don't remember this area. Honestly, I'm just not going to risk it. I'm going to switch out to probably Fuzzy. Do you upload to YouTube or just stream? Uh, I actually do have a YouTube channel. It's called Nameless Goats. That's what the um, NG in my name is. It's for Nameless Goats. Um, I haven't uploaded any of my streams yet because, like, uh, this is my third stream total, and I'm just—I've been a little lazy, and I really need to get on that. But um, they will be uploaded to YouTube as soon as possible. Thank you, Shiny Carb. I appreciate you saying that. Charmander? I kind of want to... Why haven't you evolved your Charmander yet? Yeah, on that channel we have a randomized Fire Red playthrough. It's me and my friend Sean. We play Pokemon together. Or not not just Pokemon, we play a bunch of games together. We play uh, City Skylines, Pokemon, uh, Dead Rising, a lot of stuff like that. I just decided that I really wanted to like make more content, so I decided to start streaming as well. We've had the YouTube channel for a year or two now, and I've just been really enjoying myself, so I decided to start doing more. So that's why I started streaming all by myself. 
Uh, Sean's a really funny person too, though. I don't, I don't think he does any streaming or anything of that nature, but I, I do. Just because it gives me the warm and fuzzies. Oh, the free. <laughs> oh yeah, we do have a music video that me and Sean did. That's um really really bad. But it's pretty funny, so if you want to check that out, that's actually, that's actually a really good one to start with. <laughs> What's funny is that emote that you used is from Isaac, Binding of Isaac. Channel trailer? Um, we should make a channel trailer, huh? We also just haven't recorded in a while. I don't think we've recorded since last summer. Because we do we do a like large amount of recordings because during the school semester we end up like just too busy to do anything. Because we're both in uh we're both in college for engineering, so we we don't film a lot. Um, we try to keep it like at least once a week that we film, but um, we just we haven't really had much time to film at all. Oh, I got Dragon Rage. Pog! That means I can probably two hit just about anything. I'm saying the channel trailer should be that first video. Maybe. Maybe if like we maybe if I can like edit some of our clips and like have that song as like the background, I think that would be really, really funny. This music is not as chill as we normally have. It's still pretty good, but I think I might change it. So let's see, what do we got? I don't want jazz, I want like... Yeah... <laughs> the music video is great. Yeah, that's uh, me and Sean. I'm the vocalist in that one. Sean is the guitar player. He is a really talented and really good guitar player. I... I hope that like, he's not really looking to be in a band right now but i really hope that he like continues his passion with music because he's really good and really deserves it like really deserves to work towards more he's a um he's a guitar player but he wrote other than the drums and the lyrics he wrote everything in that i found an ether Alright, um, so let's see, Pokemon. Alright, furry fish. Or not furry fish, uh, not a human. I need you to come in here and help me catch this Pokemon. Alright, we've had a snack, uh, Neckens. Yeah, dude, just tell him to follow his dreams. He's got talent. He really, really does. If you've ever seen Intervals, he can play one of their, like, most difficult songs, Libra. He's, he's really fucking talented, and he's in engineering as well. I think we're, like, both in the same mindset of the idea that we want to do engineering, um, kind of as, like... Here's my problem. I don't remember if I've ever caught a Rattata before. I don't think I have. I think this is my first one. So, Isaac, you get to choose. Who? What do you? What do you want this Pokemon's name to be? Uh, if we can catch it, <laughs> don't worry. As if you stick around, and we end up with more Pokemon. Uh, you know, whoever you guys just get to choose the names and whatnot. If nobody's here, nobody wants to name it. I tend to name it by myself, but. We're gonna stun spore. Alright. That should make it a little easier. 
That's if we catch it as well. We're going to try our best. All right, we got it. So, you can name the Rattata whatever you want. You can name it after yourself. Uh, I have no qualms with it as long as it's, like, not terrible. Okay. Name him Buck. Okay. We'll name him Buck. So, let's see. I really gotta keep a list of, like, what Pokemon I've caught. Because his big-ass buck teeth. I have named a uh, Rattata before. I've named him Timmy Turner. Not in this playthrough, but, like, in other playthroughs that I've caught. So we've got Buck. He could be pretty good because he's got Hyper... Uh, Super Fang, which cuts your health in half. Tell him I have team return. Yeah. Real creative, huh? <laughs> Pokemon. No, but, um... <laughs> I actually did, a, like, a little bit of, like, Pokemon naming. Because I typically don't name my Pokemon unless I'm doing, like, a fun playthrough of, like, maybe... Uh, maybe a hacked uh, Pokemon game so I've played through like the dark I've played through one of the Dark Rising games uh, uh, Pokemon Flora Sky stuff like that um, I have played through them and I'll nickname my Pokemon in those but not in my main games because I just I like having my Pokemon have their original names not like some nickname but for this of course I nickname them because it just makes it more fun. Um, I think Buck is gonna stay in the PC for now. Just because the only option to get rid of him really is Mew 3. Because Jigglypuff is like in the 20s and can tank some shit. But it'll be, I promise I'll raise up Buck a little bit. I've been debating on whether or not I want to start doing some grinds off stream, but my issue is if I do a grind, <laughs> that's fine. He's trash anyways. Yeah, well, it's okay. We have, you'd be shocked at like, cause this is a uh, OG Pokemon. You'd be shocked at how many of them are, what's it called? Um, how many of them are just absolute garbage. All right, so. I know that there's a Pokeball right here, but I don't think I can pick it up. No more room for items. Yeah, knew it. Item. Pokeball TM. Great Ball. Ether. HP up. We'll use another HP up. Launcher. So why'd you choose Red? So I choose. I, I choose. Good English there. Um, I chose Red. Because I wanted to... Ooh, TM30. Oh, thank you for following. I really appreciate that. But um, I chose Red because Red is the first game within the whole series. And I plan to go through each um, each generation and play through at least one of them. Uh, like, I'm not sure if I'm going to do Yellow yet. But I am going to do, like, I'm going to do this one. Then my next one that I'm probably going to play is going to be Pokemon... Uh, Fuck, uh, Pokemon uh, Gold and Silver. Then after that, it'll be uh, either Yellow. I'm not going to do Crystal because I'm pretty sure Crystal is just like Gold and Silver. The only reason that I do Yellow is because Yellow is like slightly different. But yeah, I plan to do all of the games. That's awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so yeah. I have like a little bit of a plan and that's why I chose red because I, as much fun as I am having streaming and everything, I am not having fun playing this game. <laughs> it's, or I shouldn't say that I'm not having fun cause I am, I'm having fun. But like this one, newer gen is kind of bad to be honest. I stopped playing after X and Y. I, so I had a period where I stopped playing. It was the Sun and Moon games, but I did play Sword and Shield. I did enjoy... <laughs> the older gen is trash. Um, I did play... Uh, what's it called? 
uh, Sword and Shield. Because I think Sword and Shield is like... Sword and Shield was okay. I did have to buy it used because I wanted to make sure that I didn't give the Pokemon company my money directly. Because <laughs> I wanted to make sure that they knew. They, they knew that I... Or not that they would ever notice one person. But I wanted to make sure that they didn't get my actual money. Um. So there was that. <laughs> Um, I did enjoy the DLCs, but I'm just upset because, like, I've been playing Pokemon Snap a little bit. Um, and Pokemon Snap is so much fun. Like, I don't get how you fucked up on making, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, like, so not fun. You know, because it's fun and all, but it's not, it's nowhere near, like, Gens 3 through, like, 5 were. Even, even 6 was more fun. So, I don't know. Well, like, I've said this. I probably say this every time that I stream. All, all three times that I've streamed, I've talked about this. But I do not like the idea... I do not like the idea of, um... Uh, Gigantamaxing. Gen 6 was cool. I feel like it was the last good gen. Gen 6 was really good. Um, I think the addition to Mega, the addition of Mega Evolutions, like, really brought it up a tier, for sure. Um, but Gen, uh, Gen 7 really wasn't that great. Um, and I don't like the idea of Gigantamaxing, or, you know, Dynamaxing, whatever you want to call it, because, like, the Dynamax... Yeah, exactly. Gigantamax came in. And I don't like it because it's like you got rid of one to get like just a worse version of it that even in competitive isn't allowed where, uh, where, uh, what's it called? Mega Evolution was. It's just bullshit. <laughs> I like Mega Evolution a lot. I like having Mega Evolution in the games because it, to me, it's just more fun. It's more fun to have Mega Evolution. And, I don't like the idea of, oh, look, big Pokemon. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't. Big Pokemon, like, doesn't do it for me. Like, I get the raid battle style that they were going for, but you could have just done that. You could have done something simple along the lines of, okay, we're going to have Dynamaxing, but Dynamaxing is strictly going to be the raid Pokemon is Dynamaxed. And you're fighting against a Dynamaxed Pokemon. And it's, like, harmful to them in some way. And you're doing it to help them. And, like, to me, that would have been cool. But maybe I'm looking too in-depth for it. But And you could have even done it where, like, you, you would have, like, a Dynamax Pokemon. And with it would come, it would like, it could have, like, Mega Evolution. Like, it would be, like, a Mega Evolved Dynamax. And, like, just a bigger version of it that you attacked. That you and a group of friends would like go and try to like take down to save it or whatever. And I think that would have been cool, but. Hello, Shiny Carp. Welcome back. Did you notice that we got Gyarados? Or, well, clearly you noticed, but. <laughs> we had a, we had a magic card for a little while yesterday. And now we got this monstrosity. Who just rinses but like I was saying though I I really dislike Dynamax it's it's not my cup of tea um, overall though I did think the additions of yeah fuck again I'm hyped for the Diamond Pro remix they d they look cool but I'll tell you what when I saw the chibi sprites my heart sank I was like damn i was really hoping for like something better but then um the arceus uh pokemon legends arceus trailer came out and i was like that shit looks dope as fuck and i can't wait to play it like that's gonna be that's probably gonna be the most fun so i'm excited for i'm excited for that one more than anything uh the other ones are okay 
I I know. I'm really I'm really hoping that it is like the the Metroid Prime or um like the Metroid Prime or the uh Mario 64 of Pokemon because uh like every other game has had its like not resurgence but reimagining that really pushed it to the next level and like Mario going 3D was great um and like just how good they did with all of it uh Metroid Prime I've never played Metroid or Metroid Prime I have no idea what it's all about but everyone talks about how great it is and how like it was a great reimagining and I agree if it brought it in but like a Breath of the Wild type style Breath of the Wild really brought a breath of fresh air into into just that whole series because it was it was getting stale it was getting a little stagnant um especially the ds games just kind of ended up seeming very samey and that just wasn't fun anymore i think i'm gonna go for not a human I don't like I I don't like how Pokemon has decided to stay so stagnant. But um I actually need to take a quick break really quick. I will be right back, I promise. Um so I'll be back. Here's the intermission screen. Enjoy the music. I'm sorry that I have to leave. Oops. <laughs> hey YouTube. We uh skipped ahead a little bit. Sorry about that. <laughs> You guys didn't really miss anything. We didn't lose any Pokemon. We didn't beat any gyms. Not anything hugely important. So, it's all good. Yeah, Pokemon was definitely suffering from just being a J Pokemon JRPG. Or, a. Uh, an early JRPG. I should go heal up, because I do know that there is a Pokemon coming up very soon. There's a mandatory battle with Geodudes. And I personally just don't think Primate can handle it. But I don't know. I think every generation has has its own laws. Um, Gen 1 is kind of a buggy mess because it's the first one and they really didn't know what they were doing with it yet. Gen 2 uh, suffers a lot from uh, just uh, bad pacing as a whole. The pacing in Gen 2 is not great, which is fine. I'm not, I'm not going to complain about pacing in a Pokemon game. But I, it is a flaw that it definitely has. Um, Gen 3 suffers from too much water. <laughs> um, and each game, I feel like, tries to improve upon that. But, like, in the most recent ones, like... Uh, in the most recent ones, like, Sun and Moon tried to improve it a little bit. But, like, I feel like in a lot of aspects definitely didn't improve it enough. And kind of, like failed in other areas where they did improve um like the addition of tms being completely reusable was really good um in gen 5 but gen 5 did su did suffer from not having all the pokemon in the pokedex or not even not having all the pokemon in the pokedex just um being very uh trying to be a soft reboot um, uh, Gen 4, uh, it was very slow. That was Gen 4's, like, main weakness. It, it suffered from being slow, slow-paced, like, when you were surfing, you moved ridiculously slow. Or when you were, um, your health bars moved really slow, like, killing a Chansey was ridiculous, or it took a ridiculous amount of time. So they all kind of have their issues. Um, 
and personally just in my opinion i think gen 8 added some really great had some really great additions but at the same time i feel like it suffered they did kind of improve that with platinum a little bit i think the the biggest improvement really came from um Heart gold and soul silver one in that aspect of like kind of i i disagree with you there because i feel like in gen 2 it suffers a lot more and in this one like story wise it's it's the usual pokemon like you get introduced to the team to the bad guys and then you you fight them a couple times throughout the game and then you beat them in their main base and then you move on to eventually you know beat them as a whole um i feel like they just all kind of have issues fuzzy's almost level 28 and almost gonna evolve Um, I don't know. For me personally, I don't like Gen 3 that much. Like, in comparison, I will... Compared to other games, I love them all. Okay, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by, hanging out, talking for a little bit. It really means a lot. And I, uh, I hope you have a really good day with your friend. Because I know uh, long distance friendships can be a little bit of a struggle. What am I streaming next? I'm going to try my best to stream Monday. I'm going to try my best to set up my schedule to be Monday and Thursday. Because those are the best days for me to stream. My... Girlfriend is going to be taking an online Zoom class that will be, you know, she'll have to take it from our, our bedroom where I stream, so she, I can't, um, so I can't stream while she's doing that. She's got to focus on class. Uh, she'll be taking that on Tuesdays. Um, Wednesday, I have family therapy, so I can't do that. And then thir Thursday is kind of one of my better days to do it. Friday I uh, Friday I struggle a little bit to find time because a lot of times I'm busy doing other stuff so I can't I, I would love to do it three days a week but for now I'm gonna stick to two and who knows if everything goes well I can possibly move to three but yeah so count on Monday Monday's gonna be my next my next one. Okay, hit me up on Discord whenever you want. I will. Thank you so much for thank you. I just really appreciate all the support and everything else. I kind of want to switch back to fuzzy, but I'm nervous because if I switch back to fuzzy, then I struggle with um, possibly running into those explosive Pokemon again, or the Pokemon that no explode. Um, so yeah, we're going to fight this guy really quick, unless we already fought him. I don't recall. Yep. There it is. Bubble Bean. Bubble Bean. Bubble Bean. Ease up. Yeah, no, I'm not easing up. Sorry, bud. I'm here to win. Okay. 
Let's see, we're gonna have... We're gonna put Fuzzy up front until we run into a battle. And that's where we're gonna start. Just because I really kind of want Fuzzy to evolve. Yeah, this was not the one that I was that I was worried about. Fuzzy, please, for the love of God, wake up. Alright. This all worked out. We're all set. I didn't want that. I think this might be the guy. Yeah, this was the one. So let's go back to Fuzzy, switch. All right. Back onto it. We want Fuzzy to evolve. That's our goal. Not fighting you because it's unfortunate, but I've got to use Dragon Rage on this guy. Fuzzy Grew, yes. Yes, Fuzzy! My boy! Pog! Alright. Yeah, let's see how strong he is now. Stat wise, yeah, his attack and speed are ridiculous now. There's still more. I feel like I should switch out for another Pokemon for now. I want to start using Mew 3, but I'm nervous to use Mew 3. This is going much better now that I have Primate. Alright. I'm going to go for a big brain play. And I'm going to have him go up here. And we're going to switch out for somebody else. Alright, Pokemon. Now we're going to let Donkers take this one. Found, found, found. Found, found. Excellent. Alright, you need to switch out now. Probably gonna go to Cher Jr. Ember, Ember. Oh, perfect. That was perfect on my part. Flawless. Flawless victory. And, um... Pokemon. Go for Furry Fish. And run. Pokemon. Go for Cher Jr. Excellent. The squad as a whole is looking a little rough, so I'm actually going to use some potions. Yeah, that should be okay. 
All right, Meowth. So we're gonna switch to. Yeah, we'll switch to Sure Junior because I want him to get some strength, grow a little bit. There we go. We're really making headway here. Pokemon. So, you know, uh, I'm really enjoying the stream and stuff. Oh. I need him to learn hypnosis. That's the big, or not hypnosis. Um, at 69. All right, you learn disabled. That's not that's not the worst that it could be. Pokemon. We'll probably grind up a little bit in a little while. Pokemon. We'll go for Donkers for now. Oh, this is a problem. Furry fish. Oh, yeah. Pog. Double slap. I'll take... And I... Yep. Didn't want to do that, but... That's what I get for misclicking. Oh, I found a max ether. Ooh, we're in, uh, this is fuchsia, correct? Everyone is all set and ready again. I have already made you nigh unusable. Excellent. Pokemon Furry Fish. Gotta have you use Dragon Rage. That thing's just such a tank, but Dragon Rage is realistically the best way to handle it because it's a 2-3 to three hit KO. Just because it has so much health and everything else. Furry fish. Yeah, you're just about. You are maxed out to what I can use. That's unfortunate. Gotta start using other mons. out this area i think we're just gonna go grab some more potions because i really need potions more than anything so let's go to the mart i know that i need the sylph scope 
Fortify. All right. So, ooh, we have super potions now. Super repels. Ten of these. Probably grab ten of these. Now, while we're here, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna figure out what's what. So TM34 use bide. Yep, getting rid of bide. Thunder wave, I'll probably keep. Teleport. Definitely gonna sell teleport. TM08, Body Slam, not selling Body Slam because Body Slam is actually really useful. So, what would you like to sell? Buy. We'll leave it at that for now because I don't remember what's what. I know that I definitely need the Sylph scope, which means I gotta go to Erica's town to go get that. So I've got a couple options. I think Erica's my best bet. To lift my level cap because I really got to lift that. My level cap is my biggest issue at the moment. My main focus is going to be getting him up to a higher level because he's a little lackluster right now so we got to move on to getting him up to a higher level so pokemon we'll try going for this really getting mew3 up there too which is nice. Definitely need him to learn Confusion. That's my main concern. If he can learn Confusion, then I can use him to grind up on some Poison types. I said this was fuchsia. This isn't fuchsia. This is lavender. I know that. I'm not going to deal with this for right now. This area makes me nervous because I need to. I don't want to battle anyone. Because, like, as is, I'm, like, tipping the surface of over-leveling. And that's just not good. That and, like, for those water types. I really don't have anything for the water types right now. That's just really unfortunate that I don't have anything for him. It's a muck, huh? Level 27, another Grimer. 
He's a super nerd. Hey, that's me. The super nerd. I'm kind of tempted to... I'm debating, because I could catch Pokemon in that grass right now. Or I could wait. I guess I'll wait for now. Or I'm gonna... Probably gonna just do it. Bite the bullet. Oh, I did not. Well, it's Pidgey, so. I guess this is okay for now. So we're going to just do this for a little bit. It's a Mankey. Oh, I need you to gain, like, just a couple more levels. Let me check something really quick while I'm here. So let's see, Gyarados, um, so, Pokemon, Red, Drowsy move list, I want Gen 1, learn set, Confusion is 17, okay, so we've got three levels until we get Confusion. Ugh. So here we go. All right, so Pokemon. Probably going to go for... Yeah, we'll go for Donkers. Oh, Growlithe. I'll take a Growlithe. So we'll switch out. We'll go for this one. What? Why did he run away? Well, looks like I'm not getting a Growlithe now. But... Um, just for anyone that's curious, that does not count as a fainted Pokemon because he ran away. It's different. Different story. I can still get him later. I should have just thrown a Pokeball. I did not know that Growlithe did that. But it'll be okay. We'll figure it out. Junior. Yeah, we're just fighting through the simple battles right now. I really gotta beat Erica. I think we can catch a Pokemon right there too. So we'll come back and get that one. 
I did accidentally miss a Pokemon before because I didn't realize it was two separate routes, and I don't want to cheat. So, I'm just going to kind of pretend that that's one route. I missed the uh, right above Cerulean because I wasn't paying attention and did not realize. So, Mew 3. Probably have not a human. Actually, no. That's not a good idea. Don't want the Pokemon getting scared away. Probably Donkers then. Switch. We have an Oddish. Oh, okay. I think we'll be good to... Alright, so we have another Growlithe. How did it run away? Pokemon Red Rowlith Buttons. I'm just going to look at this because I can't. That's really upsetting. Growly minor purists and mods. Game data. Game locations. Route 7, 8 in the Pokemon Mansion. I do believe I'm on Route 8 right now, so let's see. Got to pull up the map again. Yeah, I went Lavender Town, saw Route 8. And Route 7, so I just missed two encounters because Growlithe runs away. That's upsetting. But, is what it is. So, we're actually going to do Pokemon. We're going to go for... We're going to have Mew 3 up front. Okay, that's the department store. So we do have the gym right here. This is the gym with the creepy old man. Not a human, use cut. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the creepy old man. Yep, there he is, I see him. The man, the myth, the legend himself. <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of women. All right. Fucking weirdo. Um. All right. So I think we're pretty good right now. Please. I think we can get up to level 29, so we'll be good. But I do need to heal because I got put to sleep fucking twice. Disappointing. I should talk to this guy. For some reason, the game brought me in here. I'm gonna talk to him. We just shipped 2,000 Pokemon as slot prizes. Oh, Jesus. I forgot. There's no secret behind it. Hee <laughs> hee. The slot's just real in the dough big time. Crammed full of Pokemon books. 
kind of don't I need a coin case? Isn't that the rule? Because I could get I could get Porygon. Porygon's actually a really good Pokemon. Or a Dratini. Fuck. I could get Dratini. <sighs> I might try for Dratini. Let's see. Where's the game corner, though? Who are you? Pokemon? No. We're full up. Okay. Um, but I do want to know where the game corner is. Is there no music playing for right now? Let's check it out. Yep, Sinnoh just ended. Uh, hmm. Let's try this one. Okay. Is this the game for now? I feel like it is. Where do I get the coin case? I had a major haul today. Alright. So let's see. I gotta go back to the restaurant. One of these is a restaurant, I know that. Oh, yep. Oh, I thought I was going to win it back, yep. Now, where's the game corner, though? One of these is the game corner. I think it's this one. Perfect. And we'll sit here on the slots for a while. Try again. You know, I really would have thought... That the game corner would have been a little bit easier to win. So 
So we're just sitting here trying to get a Jatini and um, I'm really feeling like it's not happening. Is there a way to win? I have a feeling there's no way to win this. I have like barely won at all. I think I've actually had to pay out like three times. This is not going well for me. Oh, fuck. Alright, we're just gonna run until we're out of coins. Cool. Alright. I I give up. I'm not getting a Dratini. I could have gotten an Abra too, but you know, what, let me go look at what we got for Pokemon. Okay. Oh, Dratini's actually the cheapest. Interesting. Um, could get a Dratini and a Cypher. Oh, there's... Okay. Okay. So I can buy Abra. I could just quickly go get Abra and buy him. Alright, I gotta look at this. Pokemon Red TM List. Twenty-three Dragon Rage, fifteen Hyper Beam, fifty eight Substitute. Why do I care about any of those? No thanks. Okay, so here's the deal. Is it 2,800? Is that what it is? 2,800, yeah. So, 28 times 2 is... 400 is... 56,000. Okay, so 56,000 is how much I would need to spend to get Tratini. I could get Scyther, but I'm really not interested in the Scyther. So I could get Dratini and have to wait a long ass time, or I could get Abra for a lot less. Cause I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and get every single Pokemon from here. Cause that's just not fair. So I think I might just go buy enough for Abra Could get neat arena but don't really need it i don't know i kind of like the idea of having an abra i think
think it would only be like level 5 or something. So, we're probably going to do that really quick. Actually, I don't know how much money we have. So maybe we'll do that after Erica's gym. And we'll grind up a little bit after Erica's. We'll grind with the other Pokemon after Erica's gym. Because I kind of really want that Abra. So, we'll leave it at that. We'll go get Abra after the gym. And then we will grind up the other two Pokemon. Uh, we'll grind up our two Psychic types. So, Drowsy and Abra. Post gym. And I'll try to grind up Drowsy just a little bit while we're here. Maybe get him to learn Confusion or something. Pokemon. Oh no. Gotta switch. Oh my god, it still goes. Is that it? Are you done? I thought there was only three. We almost lost again. We almost died. <laughs> but. We're going through. We've been very protective of our mons for now. I don't want to jinx it, but we haven't really lost anyone of, as of yet. So we're sitting pretty. Okay. Okay. I completely forgot to hit my cup. So, we're gonna lead off with that. I got a little sidetracked. And I could also fish for some Pokemon, too. Here it is. Alright. Back on our journey. I'm pretty sure Mr. Psychic's house is nearby too, so I could get Psychic, but I don't know who I'd put it on. Pokemon. Okay. Alakazam is notoriously one of the strongest Pokemon within the game. The issue is he's like made of paper mache. I was seated. That's unfortunate. Oh, we're good. Clean sweep through that team. Level 16. Perfect. One level away from evolution. I really wish I had better than Ember right now. If I had flamethrower, this would be a walk in the park, but I don't have flamethrower just yet.
So, we're almost all set with all the Pokemon. I think maybe after we beat this game, we'll probably move to, uh, we'll probably take a little bit of a break from Pokemon and maybe move to Slime Rancher. Probably do, like, maybe a little bit of Slime Rancher or maybe destroy all humans. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll do, like, a couple quick streams of Minecraft. I could do that, too. This did not go well. <sighs> Are you serious? He put me to sleep already? Come on. Oh, that was a tough battle. I almost lost. <gasps> no! Oh. Fuck! Donkers, why? Fuck. All right. Item. Antidote. Well. I can't believe I fucking did this to myself. I can't believe I fucking killed Donkers. Well, there's our first death of the day. But it's okay. We will make it through. Pokemon. Change box to box number one. Donkers, you've been with the squad for quite some time, and you will be missed. Alright. Um... I guess we'll take in Slice and Dice, huh? So, let's see. Let me 
of uh, Jigglypuff, and we switch you out for a match up. Slice and dice. Well, that was unfortunate, uh, to say the least. Moving on now. This really does feel too Christmassy, so I gotta switch it out. So let's see, where else can we go? Gyarados, stream elements, stream elements, stream elements, Pokemon, all right. This feels better. So I'll probably move in for some area that's a lot easier going. That was just really unfortunate about Donkers. Did not deserve what Donkers got. Sure, switch it. Excellent. You got fucking poisoned again? Alright. This time we're not leaving for it. We're not leaving for a potion. For a poisoning. You only took a little bit of damage. Everything's gonna be fine. Alright. So, now here we are. Fourth gym badge, which means that everyone else can be grinded up after this to a decent level. So let's see, Pokemon. We got Cher Jr. up front, and I think we're good to go. Hello, lo lovely weather, isn't it? Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I am the gym leader of Celadon. I teach the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Listen there. I'm a fuck your Pokemon up. Sure, Junior. He's here to win. Oh, you're you're starting off with your ace, huh? I kind of wish you didn't. Okay, good. Super effective. Wrap. We're actually getting really lucky here. She's missed us twice so far. If we knock her out, perfect. We're on a good path right now. And he grew to level 30. Pog. I don't understand how you can have a five level gap between your Pokemon. You're going to try and use Constrict. Cool. Yeah, Tangla. I've, I've learned that Tangla and Tangrowth aren't great until later. Tangla is really good with Eviolite.
She's trying to stall me out. I'm gonna do one more attack and then switch. Got it. Okay. Wild Plume. I think the play is to switch. But switch to who is the real problem, right? try furry fish for now all right we did it we beat erica i didn't think it would only have like 80 health fucking easy Easy clap. What is it for? Mega Drain. Perfect. Put Mega Drain on. What's it called? Hit the wrong button. Uh, Chur Jr. is poisoned, so we're gonna antidote him really quick. I just don't want to run the risk of losing him accidentally. Alright, so our next big fight is... I think we can get up to... What is the level we can get up to? We'll see really quick. I don't need all this. Growlithe. Yeah, we're good. I'll keep this up. I can remove my stream element stuff. Leave. So let's see. What else do we have? All right, so we got to look at this up really quick. So we got to do I actually completely forgot what I was looking up. Oh, Pokémon Red Gym Leaders. All right, so 29 43. Okay, 40 43 is our is our next level cap. Forty-three is our next level cap. I don't know what I'm gonna do for Saffron yet. Sabrina, I have no idea how I'm gonna handle her. Uh, Blaine, I'm gonna use Surf. That's just Gyarados Surf. It's gonna be fucking easy. Um, and then Giovanni, I'm gonna go. Giovanni is probably going to be surf and, a mixture of Surf and Psychic. Yeah, that's about all I got. Ugh. So my biggest concern is her. So we'll just, we'll have to see. Actually, really need another drink. All right, boys, two gyms down. Moving forward now. I'll be right back, though.
Oh, gotta switch back. All right, so we're back in action. So I think grinding is our next step. I'd really appreciate. Um, I'm also gonna grab. I really don't see the purpose in getting Dragonite in this one. Dragonite's good and all, but I don't really see the purpose. Just because, especially in this game, you know, there's not a lot of Dragon type moves. Dragon Rage is the only one, really. I am gonna go check out the Mart, though. See what we got in here. Oh, hi. I finally finished Pokemon. Not done yet. This might be useful. Your pack is full of items. Okay. I think... Mainly, I'm just gonna go and... Maybe I should just deposit a fuck ton of items in my PC. Your bag is just so easy to fill in this game. Bill's PC. No, I want Churd's PC. Deposit. So we're gonna deposit TM21. We're gonna deposit this. We're gonna deposit these because we're not gonna use them for right now. Escape rope I'm gonna keep on me. The Moonstones, I'm going to leave for now. I'm just depositing any and all TMs. Alright. So now we're going to head out. Go back into the... Come back into the mart. What is that? Contains counter. Probably not going to ever use counter. Oh, I do know what I do need to do. I believe she gives me tea. I'm thirsty, I want something to drink. Okay. Stop running around, goddamn. Thirsty, I want something to drink. Give her a drink, give her fresh water. Yay, fresh water. Thank you, you can have this from me. Churd received TM13. TM13 contains ice beam. Damn. Just gonna hand that out to people? Fresh water, no thank you. I'm not thirsty after all. Yay, soda pop. Thank you. Rock slide, okay. Last but not least, lemonade. Try attack. Okay. 
Oh, fuck ton of good moves, actually. And not dealing with these. Excuse me, sorry. Fire. I really do just enjoy these chill Pokemon streams. And I am excited to do more with it too. Polka doll. Oh, you can buy a leaf stone here. Pog. Probably buy a leaf stone at the very least. I don't know if I need any other stones. Because I've got. Thunderstone, Firestone. If I had caught that Growlithe, maybe, but I didn't. Here you are. Thank you. There's a TM salesman somewhere in here. I did pull up the TM list before, I do know that. There it is. So we've got... Oh, there's a fuck ton here. All right. Let's see, 32, double team. Double team could be useful. 33, reflect. Two is razor wing. Seven, horn drill. Drill thirty seven. Egg bomb. Yeah, not very useful. Um, one mega punch. Yeah, really not worried about mega punch. Five mega kick. Nine takedown. 17, submission. Yep, that's all for you. What do you got? Oh. Yeah, I think I'll pass on all of those. Like, maybe submission, but... 80, 80, yeah. No, I'll pass on it. Don't need submission. All right, now that that's all done. Celadon Mansion. I don't know where to get the tea. Is this where... Okay, moving on then. Don't know where to get the tea. Pokemon! Red... Pokemon Red T. Um, in 
Generation 1. Could be given to the Thirsty Guard. This is changed in the remakes. But to trade one of the three drinks from another. Early as a this X. Where is it though? Oh, it's only in fire red and leaf green. Perfect. Alright. So, we're gonna go get a Pokemon. We're gonna go get one, uh, one Abra. Um, here. I will be right back. I think they, I think somebody's calling me, so I'll be right back. But. Well, YouTube cares. YouTube, I'm back. Started streaming around two. Been going for a little over three hours. That's not too bad. We're gonna go get an Abra. So long as we can find it. can go to Mr. Psychic's house up there and get Psychic for a couple Pokemon, but I'm gonna hold off for now. I can't tell if that's a Rocket member or not. I think it is. I This game needs a run button. Like, someone should just mod that shit in. Just give this one a run button. I know it probably drives a bunch of people nuts that I uh, fast forward so often, but it's just because I can't handle going this slow all the time. If you've watched our Pokemon Fire Red playthrough, you guys know that... You guys know that I dislike. Okay. I need about 50, 200. Okay. So we go right here. We're gonna pick up an Abra. So I really do think Abra is like our best bet, right? I'm gonna say it is Abra. All right. Let's see. What are we gonna name it? I think I've got a name. Yep. 
it's a good one. So, if there's anyone in chat that wants to go for it, please, by all means, don't let me stop you. But right now, I'm pretty sure I'm just by myself. Oh, he's got to do the lowercase. Houdini. Double check this really quick. Houdini. All right. Hi, love. What's up? Yeah, I did. Alright, one second, guys. I'm just gonna mute for a sec. I am. Alright, YouTube. So, uh, I did a little bit of a grind. I did a quick rival fight. And now we're here. So I'm probably going to wrap up. Uh, the rival fight really wasn't anything special. Um, we now have, as you can see on the screen, we now have uh, Houdini, Mew3, uh, Not a Human, Fuzzy, Furry Fish, and Cher Jr. on the squad. Um, probably got to do like a little bit of a grind session to get everyone up into the 30-ish area. And we're going to go from there. So on that note, I'm probably going to head out. I appreciate everyone that stopped by, really. I appreciate it so, so much. Um, yeah, it means a lot. So I'll see you guys next time. Um, I'm probably going to be uh, streaming again next Monday. That's probably going to be the early. It's uh, probably going to be the earliest that I'm going to stream. And other than that, I hope to see you guys soon. All right. Love you guys. Bye.